the ducks escaped death. In the remote interior of a vast forest was a quiet little lake. A paddling of ducks lived under the shrubs on the bank of the lake. In fact, they had lived there for generations, undisturbed by anybody. Once in a while, a hunter entered that part of the forest. But such was the color of the ducks that when they lay low under the shrubs, it was not easy to notice them. One morning, one old duck called the attention of all the other ducks to a small plant that was growing near their residence. I know this plant, said the old duck, and I am afraid this might one day bring about our destruction. Surprised, the ducks asked him, Why do you say so? How can a tree harm us? This plant, if allowed to grow up, will bear a kind of excellent fruit. This forest is frequented not only by hunters, but also fruit gatherers. If a fruit gatherer is attracted towards this tree, he will naturally find out our nests. He may then feel tempted to bag us. At this, all the ducks quacked out, such fear is without any foundation. The plant might not be a fruit-bearing one at all. Even if it were, it might die untimely. Even if it grew up, it may fail to grow fruit because of the climate here. Even if it grew fruits, it may not attract anybody's attention. Even if it did, people may not care to walk into this damp area negotiating through thorny shrubs. Even if someone came, he may not be able to find us. Even if he found us, he may not be interested in us. Even if he tried to catch us, we might still give him the slip. But the old duck said, What use entertaining so many evens and ifs? If you lend your beaks, we may uproot the plant in no time. That will relieve us from all fear of the future. But we have no fear at all. If you have, why not use your blessed beak and do the needful, retorted some of the young ducks. The old duck kept quiet. Years passed. The plant became a big tree and bore fruits. Because the ducks saw it every day, they did not observe the slow change that had come over it. When the fruits were ripe, a forest dweller saw them and came there to gather them. While gathering the fruits, he saw the signs of a large paddling of ducks living there, although no duck was there at that moment. The forest dweller spread a wide net over the place and went away. By sundown, the ducks returned there. As soon as they descended on the ground, they were caught in the net. They struggled hard to free themselves, but in vain. By then, the young ducks of the other day had grown old, and the old one who had warned them about the plant had grown, the oldest duck in the whole paddling, and was called Grandpa. What should we do now, Grandpa? asked the ducks in a sad voice. Only if you would have heard me then, sighed Grandpa and said, However, do as I say. Pretend to be dead, all of you. Remember, whether you will live or not depends on whether you can act as dead or not. The old duck then gave them certain more advices. When it was dusky, the forest dweller arrived there. He was delighted to see so many ducks caught in his net. But coming close, he found them appearing dead. He picked up one of them and threw it aside. It lay as though lifeless. One by one, he did the same to all the ducks. They all lay like dead. When Grandpa saw that there were no more duck in the net, he gave out a smart quack. At once, all the ducks flapped their wings and rose high into the sky. 
After an hour search, they found out another lake and settled on a spot chosen by the grandpa duck. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to our channel, and let me know what you thought down in the comments below. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.